Hello, what's up YouTube? Photographer Ronix with it and tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll show you guys the best way to export your images. You know, there are those instances whereby you, after retouching the image and you tend to post it on social media or use another device to view your image, I tend to have a color shift. So by color shift, I mean your image tend to change color. It tends to differ from the way you are looking at the image when you're editing it or retouching it in Photoshop. So you're going to be basically going to be fixing that issue in this very tutorial. So what I'm going to do right now, I'll show you guys the reasons that's why you always have a color shift and the wrong ways you save your images. And I'm going to be showing you guys the right way you should uh, save your images after retouching them. Basically, or usually in Photoshop, so let me first click right here. So this is my Photoshop interface and you can see I already did adjustments to this very image. Yeah, I already did those adjustments. So I did the frequency separation. You can see the before and after. Then I also did uh, the dodge and burn to add shape or dimension to this very portrait. Then after I did everything and you can see all these different adjustments you have to embed them into this image so usually most of the times when we are saving the images we either come and hit ctrl or, or command s to save the image yeah and we just come right here to save to computer and we save the image or we just come right here to file and we come right to save as and we come and hit save on computer and I will change this format to a JPEG or whichever format. So this is uh, this is going to work. Yeah, it is going to work for you sometimes, but not all times that is going to actually save you. So I'll show you guys the best way to save your images after you have retouched them. Remember, we want to embed every adjustment we made onto this image like maybe the color grading and maybe the contrast and everything so we want to embed them by embedding i mean we want to make them part of this image yeah and by doing that we want to tell photoshop yo you have to put this into this image yeah we want all these adjustments we did to be put or placed into this very image yeah, I don't know if I'm making sense. So the wrong ways are coming right here to file and you come just to save or save as for whichever case. That is wrong. Or some of you just use command S, that is the shortcut. And you come like save to computer and you look for whichever you want to, uh, the format you want to save, maybe JPEG and you save your image. So when you do that most times, it is not going to embed the colors and the adjustments you did. That's why when you post the images, they tend to uh, change in color and you'll be noticing that Photoshop is going to only save the adjustments and it is not going to harmonize them into the image. That is the word maybe I should use. It is not going to embed them or harmonize them or maybe marry them into the image. I don't know if that is the right word to say. But in this case, when you want to uh, avoid that problem for having a color change or your images changing in color after you have retouched them, we want to tell Photoshop to uh, put all those adjustments into the image. And the way to do that, you have to come right here to File. I hope you are you're taking notes. Then come to Export and come to Export As. So when you come to export as you, you're going to get like a preview. So a preview is more of a showing your image, the image you're trying to retouch. And we have various options in this very window. Yeah. So here we have the file format and the size. I hope you can see. So if I told you have uh, maybe various images, you can select everything and export them. So right now we only have one image. Yeah, so after doing so, we come, so this is where the magic is going to happen, right on this window on the right hand side. I hope you guys can see uh, this right now. So what you have to do, you come and select the format. So we have various formats right here. 
So for this case, we are just going to choose JPEG because uh, most websites and maybe uh, documents or devices are uh, support JPEG format. Then for the quality, of course, we want, you can come and change the quality uh, the way you want. But for this case, so when you turn down the quality, you're going to notice that when you turn this down, this is also going to change. Yeah, the size is going to change. You can see we had 2.4 MBs and now it is in kilobytes. So, of course, we need the biggest quality or the maximum quality. That's why we have to put that at that. So, what we are going to be doing, we are going to uh, make sure the width and this, this is more of the size. We are just going to leave these the way they are or you can change them. But these don't really uh, necessarily matter. So come right to uh, resample and choose, yeah, and come and choose this option, yeah, by cubic sharper. So if at all you want your image to be saved in that very sharp format and you have like that nice and uh, strong details in your images when you post them, make sure you, you select resample by cubic sharper. And after doing that, you can as well change your canvas size depending on what you're going to use your image for. But this is necessary, like uh, a story about how to avoid a color shift. So I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go into these details right here. But make sure you resample by cubic sharper. Then come right down here. So this is where we have to embed all those colors into this image. So we have these options right now. So you have to make sure you convert uh, it to sRGB and also embed the color profile. So when you embed the color profile, every adjustment that you did uh, to this very image is going to be saved or applied or harmonized into this very image and it is going to be one. Yeah, it is going to be one. So when you embed color profile and convert to sRGB, it is going to put all the colors into the image and by cubic sharp is going to keep the sharpness in your image and after you have done so come and hit export and after hitting export you can as well maybe name this whichever you want so i'm just going to name it export and you can choose where you want to save your image and click save so after clicking save this window is automatically going to close after it has saved the image uh, to your different locations so when you post this image, maybe on social media or use it on a different device and maybe on a different website, it is not going to change color at all. So this is the best way to save or export your images to avoid that problem from happening to you or to your images when you do post them. And this is all for today. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in more and more tutorials and tips or educative content on this channel and if i told you have learned something new from this story don't forget to like this video subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and i'll see you in it another story on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating